Hello, fellow fragrance lovers, and welcome back to my channel. I'm feeling beachy and tropical today, and I have yet another beachy tropical fragrance video because one was not enough. I have since discovered some other beachy tropical fragrances. And I don't know, I'm just so ready for summer after the year we've had. I am a high school teacher for those who don't know. And it's been, it's been quite a, quite a time. And I have never been more ready to get into the summer mindset. So I'm bringing you some fragrances today that will give you that beachy tropical feel. And of course, you know, you can watch the other one. I do have a part one definitely check that out. Although at the time I didn't know it was part one, but what are you going to do? So I have a few to share with you. A couple of these I did feature in my like summer 2021 fragrances that I have a video like that. Um, but some of them I haven't talked about yet, I don't think. So we're just going to jump right into these wonderful beachy tropical fragrances. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is of course from one of my favorite brands, Sol de Janeiro. This is the uh, kind of fairly new uh, Sol uh, Charosa 71 or Charosa 71. And this one has caramel, macadamia, white chocolate, vanilla, coconut nectar, and sea salt. So yes, Brazilian Crush Charosa 71. And this is a body mist, but it lasts pretty well. Like for, for a body mist, I, I find that the, you know, all of the um, Charosa, Sol de Janeiro products, they, um, they're, they're fairly strong for j just being a body mist. This is definitely not the same as like a Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret body mist. No, you know, no shade to them, but they don't have the greatest longevity. These do tend to last a little bit longer. So this one is very sweet. It is definitely a summer gourmand. So if you're the type who likes a gourmand fragrance and wants to continue wearing gourmand fragrances in the summer, but you don't want anything too heavy in the heat, this is perfect. Um, and it's just really, it's delicious <laughs> smelling. And, you know, because it has that that coconut vibe to it. I think they even list the notes on here. Well, caramelized vanilla and macadamia. You definitely get, um, you know, all of those really yummy gourmand notes. So this is a really nice one if you want to smell sweet, delicious, but not cloying or overbearing. So that is Charosa 71 from Sol de Janeiro. The next one, I... Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I mean, I I love anything from this house, basically. Uh, although there are a couple, I, I think I still have to try a couple, but I've tried most of them and I love all of them. So, of course, I'm speaking about Narciso Rodriguez and this is Narciso Ombre. And, oh my gosh, let me tell you. It is this heavenly, heavenly divine <laughs> tropical fragrance. It is just tropical flowers and islandy and I am so I'm so upset that I only have the small bottle. I don't think this is in stores anymore. I think Sephora had it at one point, but I guess it's limited or something. I don't know. Um, so I was hesitant to blind buy it without, you know, because I, I haven't smelled it anywhere. So I got the tiny one and I really wish I had gotten a bigger one. So the top notes um, in this one are frangipani, onyang lang, and white flowers. Mid notes are musk and amber. And base notes are cashmere, vanilla, and cedar. So you get a little bit of the muskiness that is typical of Narciso Rodriguez. I mean, he's like the king of musks, pretty much. And I love me a good musk. But it just has those tropical notes in it that are so transportive and delectable. I don't know how else to say it, but it's really, really great if you're into tropical floral 
fragrances with, you know, some sweetness to them, um, but also a little bit of a, a woody base. So again, that is Narciso Rodriguez Ombre. What is next on my list? I have all my little notes here. Oh, this one, Hidden Gem. I never have heard anyone talk about this at all. This is a fragrance. It's actually a natural fragrance from Free People. You know, the brand Free People has clothing and accessories and whatnot, but they they have some fragrances and they have another one called Lodge that I wear in the winter that is, it's one of the best perfumes I've ever tried in my life. I'm obsessed with it. And these are great. They're affordable. Again, they're natural. So I love that. So this is Free People Surf. And the top notes in this are Italian lemon, almond, and melon. Mid notes are jasmine sandback, Madagascar, Lang Lang and Tahitian Coconut and base notes are Vanilla Absolute and Brazilian Tonka Bean. So it is sunscreeny. It's a little bit sunscreeny, but it's different from other sunscreeny scents like Bobby Brown Beach, for example, or um, uh, uh, Fawn um, so from Alice Brooklyn. So this one, you know, you get a little bit of citrus, you get you get the florals and then you definitely get the coconut, but it's just really, really beachy. I know it's ironic because as I've explained before, I hate the beach, like the actual beach being on the beach. I don't mind being in beach towns though. It's very perplexing. I'm not really sure what that's all about, but this one is just really like easy going. Again, I think this would be a really easy reach for summer days and it's it's another really yummy one and super, super beachy. So that is Free People Surf. The line is called the 1809 Collection. So definitely check that out if you haven't tried their fragrances yet. All right, next, this one um, I was made aware of uh, by one of my favorite fragrance YouTubers, Paulina Shar, and she always talks about this one. And this is Jill Sander Sun. Mmm, this is not a traditional like beachy or summer perfume. It's actually quite deep for a summer perfume. I think it's probably more appropriate for summer nights. And it has a ton of notes, like a lot of notes. The top notes are fruity notes, African orange flower, palisander rosewood, amalfi lemon, cassis, and bergamot. Mid notes are Lang Lang, Heliotrope, Carnation, Orris Root, Rose, and Lily of the Valley. And base notes are Benzoin, Vanilla, Amber, Tonka Bean, Sandalwood, Musk, Styrax, Patchouli, and Tobacco Leaf. So quite a few notes in there. So it is deeper. You know, I love deeper, ambery, more oriental profile fragrances, and that's what this is. But you know, as other people have said, the packaging is very deceptive because it looks very sporty and light. Like it would be, you know, like a sporty type of light fragrance. It is not. It has really good longevity, really good projection. If you like more of the, you know, ambery type of fragrances, I think you'll really like this. The sun part of it though is you do get that feeling of, you know, a summer day where the sun is beating on you. Now, as Paulina said, there is a note in here. She calls it like the cat pee note. I think it's the lily of the valley. It only lasts like a few seconds. But when you do, when you spray it, you do get this little cat pee type of a, don't let that scare you. Don't let that scare you. But that is Jill Sander sun. It's great. I, I promise. All right. This next one, it took me a while to get like turned on to this. Um, I heard other YouTubers talking about it and I do like Nest fragrances, but, and I've tried several of them, but this, just based on the packaging, I never thought I would like it, but oh my gosh, this is Sunkissed Hibiscus. And this is like, it's just summer. <laughs> it's just, this one is almost more like this makes me think of my swim club more than the beach uh, necessarily. And I have a little travel of it, which, you know, I love these little travel sprays. But the top notes of this are coconut and frangipani. So very beachy, tropical. 
mid notes, tuberose, gardenia, and orange blossom. Although this tuberose doesn't bother me. I guess it's blended in nicely because normally I hate tuberose. And then the base notes are amber. So I really get from this more of that really tropical floral fragrance. And it's sweet, but also, you know, just has a a summery vibe to it. <laughs> I don't know. That's 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 it. I mean, it's summery, beachy, tropical, or pool, whatever you want to call it, and has just enough sweetness to it. And I think if you like coconut and tropical flowers, you will like this one with that with that amber to ground it. I think you'll like that one. So that is Nest Sun Kissed Hibiscus. The next one, really love this one. This was a gift, <laughs> but this is Pacifica Tahitian gardenia and of course i love pacifica it's another great like cruelty free brand and this is just it's a very straight up gardenia um fragrance but it also has sweet orange jasmine and tea leaf in it it is very a very similar vibe to uh guerlain terracotta and if you're having a hard time getting a hold of that one because i know i had to track that down and pay way more than i should have for it because I guess it's discontinued and it's not readily available in the United States. But if you want that, this gives a very similar vibe. It is, you know, the, the gardenia is very prominent in this. It reminds me of like a retro fragrance, like a, not old lady retro, but a, like an old Hollywood type of retro floral fragrance. So if you're into that vibe, I think you will like Pacifica's Tahitian Gardenia. All right, the next one is an oldie but a goodie, and it's, I'm going to admit, like, it's a little bit juvenile. I'm probably way too old to wear it, but for you younger folk out there, because I know I do have some teen viewers, this is just, it just makes you happy. This is Hollister Pure Cali, and it's also really affordable. I try to, you know, have a good mix of, like, affordable and maybe higher-end things, although most of these are pretty affordable. Um, but Pure Cali is just, it's a fun, young, summery fragrance. Again, easy reach where it's like you don't really know what, you're not doing anything special. You don't really know what kind of fragrance to wear. This one in the summer is just, like, a no-brainer. Top note is pineapple, mid note, water lily, and base note is cedar. It's super simple. And I like to layer this with um, like pineapple body products because I love pineapple. So if you have, and they actually do have like a, a pineapple lotion, or I think they still have it. So that with this on top, it's just, it's just so pineapple-y and good. But because it has cedar in it, Again, it keeps it from being too just like body spray-ish. It has a little bit of oomph to it. So again, that is Hollister Pure Cali. It's just a fun one. It makes me feel young again. It makes this old lady feel young again. All right. I have talked a lot about this one and I am obsessed, like unhealthily obsessed with this. <laughs> this is... Angel Iced Star. It is the new summer flanker for 2021 of Angel by Mugler. And this is coconut, pineapple, vanilla, praline, and patchouli. It has a little bit of that angel DNA because of the patchouli, but that pineapple coconut, oh my gosh, it's like a pina colada right off the bat. But then, you know, the patchouli comes out and it becomes this fruit chuli. Every time I've worn this, people have commented on it. They're like, what smells so good? You smell so good. What is that? It is addictive. It is wonderful. I am so sad that it's limited edition. And I really, I probably at some point will get a backup of this because I need it forever. So that is Angel Ice Star. If you like pina colada with some patchouli mixed in, this is your jam right here. Okay, moving right along, we have a another flanker, and this is a flanker of La Nuit Tresor. This is La Nuit Tresor Nude, and from Lancome. Mm, okay, I love this one so much. Um, top note 
in this is bergamot, midnote is rose, and base is coconut and vanilla. It's very simple. Now, there's this whole debate about if this and the new La Via Belle Soleil Cristal, the, Frank, the flanker um, that just came out, you know, a lot of people think they're exactly the same. They're not exactly the same. That one is definitely more potent. It's a lot stronger. You get the coconut, like, really in your face up front. Now, I'm not complaining because I love that. This, you do get the coconut, but it turn it's a little, the bergamot makes it fresher. It's lighter and fresher. So if you tried um, La Vie Belle Soleil Cristal and it was just too much for you, too overwhelming, but you liked the vibe of it, go with Lo Nuit Tresor Nude. I think you'll really like it. It's fresh and it's a fresh coconut scent. And it's got the rose in there, too. So it's got a little floral touch. And it's just beautiful. And, again, this is just an easy one to wear. I don't think it will offend anyone. And it is super, super summery. All right. So that was La Nuit Tresor Nude. And last, I have, I love this packaging, one from Sarah Jessica Parker. And this is Sarah Jessica Parker's NYC Crush, which is a flanker of the NYC. So this one has notes of coconut, vanilla, and white flowers. I pretty much just get coconut, but it's not a gourmand coconut. It's a like a fleshy, authentic smelling coconut. Um, it's more, it's not as, I mean, it's sweet, but it's not, you know, sickeningly sweet. And it's just, if you like straight up coconut things, but more, you get the vanilla in there too, but a little bit of floral, um, added in, I think you will like this. The other thing that's interesting about this to me is it smells exactly like exactly like a Bath and Body Works coconut fragrance that I wore 15 years ago. Um, I wore it. It may and it, and smelling this makes me think of my first year at my current job because that's when I wore it and like this takes me right back to it. I don't remember what it was called. It was called like coconut something. They had a whole line of all these different coconut fragrances in I guess it was 2006. And this smells exactly like it, but, you know, has a little bit better longevity than that. So this is Sarah Jessica Parker, NYC Crush. All right, well, there you have it. There are some more beachy and tropical fragrances that I think you're really going to enjoy. In the comments, let me know if you have any of these, like any of these, or if there are some other beachy and tropical fragrances you think I should try. And of course, if you've been enjoying my channel, I would really, really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, share it. I'm really trying to grow my channel as a new YouTuber, so I would really appreciate it. And of course, you know, thanks to those who have um, supported me already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.